Managing hundreds of millions of unplanned dollars in the middle of a pandemic is no small task. So far, the city has done a good job. We examined part of all the money the City of Denver has received so far to help with pandemic recovery. Although this is just the beginning of Denver's recovery, we found the Department of Finance is transparent and implementing strong spending plans in line with best practices. In 2020, the City's finance team was tasked with managing hundreds of millions of federal dollars, all in the middle of a world-changing pandemic. The Department of Finance vetted the proposals and made decisions of funding. I directed my team to begin work on an audit of the first round of coronavirus relief funds at the end of 2020 because I knew we needed to start looking at financial management processes right away before all the spending had a chance to get off track. We did this audit because there's great public interest in how the city uses COVID relief funding. City agencies had to identify how to best spend a large amount of federal dollars requiring them to act very quickly and carefully at the same time. When the city accepted hundreds of millions of dollars in relief funds, all while having to make difficult cuts across the city due to lost sales and use tax revenues, I saw a high risk for misuse of the money. However, when my team started analyzing how the city was planning and spending the coronavirus relief funds, we found finance was responding quickly to keep Denver on track. Our audit looked at how well the city managed $126.9 million Denver received from the Federal Coronavirus Relief Fund, which was created through the CARES Act. These funds were different from the American Rescue Plan funds, which came later. We found finance successfully created a committee and implemented a phased spending plan to ensure the money was spent on time and in accordance with federal guidelines. Finance was transparent about the use of the money and its continued monitoring aligns with best practices. Federal aid in 2020 helped Denver pay for a variety of unexpected costs related to the pandemic. Our team found it was used to support food assistance, public health efforts, economic support, and individual support. The largest amount of money was planned for shelter and housing. Projects funded with coronavirus relief funds included emergency sheltering for people experiencing homelessness, public health projects, aid to small businesses, and temporary rental and utility assistance. The overall effectiveness and community impact of the city's relief dollars won't be clear for a long time, but it was important for us to take a look early in the process to ensure the correct safeguards are in place to avoid abuse or missteps. We did find finance failed to properly track and review interest earned for coronavirus relief funds the city was able to plan for spending the earned interest later after correcting the error. No response could have been perfect and there were likely individuals left behind despite the city's best efforts. However, so far it appears the city is doing a good job. In the future, our teams will continue to examine the effectiveness of the city's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope our city's leaders will continue to be good stewards of relief funds and search for innovative ways to reach our most vulnerable populations. Well, that's it for this episode of Ask the Auditor. If you have a question, submit it to auditor at denvergov.org, and maybe your question will be the next question we answer on the next episode of Ask the Auditor.